Hello everybody, it's nice to see you again. Today we shall begin and eager together through an important topics. These topics concern the two safety business partners of any organization. Partner number one is the organization safety team. Partner number two is the organization stakeholders. Like owner and investors, like insurers, regulators, employees, workers, tenants, community, and so on. Our topics today has different names. Name number one is the fire risk assessment. Name number two is the fire risk analysis. Name number three is the fire hazard analysis. Name number four, four, fire hazard analysis assessment. But in our documents, we shall call it fire risk assessment. Before we start, we have to ask ourselves a very important questions. For any successful organization, eager to identify and achieve smart objectives, how many types of risk management must this organization apply? The answer is six types of risk management. Number one is a quality risk management. Number two is the environmental risk management. Number three is the operational risk management. Number four is the health risk management. Number five is the natural risk management. Number six is the fire risk management. Someone can explain. Are we allowed to merge between all these type of risk management? The answer certainly no. We are not allowed to merge between all these types of risk management. Because each type has its own purpose, scope and method. If you try to merge, you will lose and miss some kinds of hazard of your organization, which shall make your work is not correct and is not safe. So don't ever try to merge between all these types. We need to achieve and implement an efficient fire risk assessment. To achieve an efficient fire risk assessment, we have to identify six key points. Number one, you have to understand very well the perception of risk. Number two, the purpose of the fire risk assessment. Number three is the objective of the fire risk assessment. Number four is the method of fire risk assessment. Number five, elements of risk. Number six, and finally, the acceptance criteria. In our next video, we shall discuss in details the perception of risk. See you again, and I wish you good luck.